So now it's time to learn how to create our first uh, URL. As you can see here in the browser, we have this URL 127.0.0.1 and then the port. And this is the main this is the main URL. But we need to create URLs. We need to, to learn how to create URLs that uh, display specific piece of code or display a specific data, a piece of data. So how can we do that? The first thing that we need to do is that we need to learn how to create a URL. So first of all, you need to open up your blog here, this this blog. And then in this blog, you should find a file called URLs. And if you don't find it, in some applications it's not it's not installed, it's not created uh, uh, by default by Django. So you need to create that file inside the blog. So here inside the blog, I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to say new file. And then I'm going to say urls.py and then hit enter. And as you can see, I have here a file called urls.py. Uh, the reason why, again, the reason why I created this file is because it's it has not been installed. It has not been created by Django. It has not been provided by Django. But if it has, then you don't, of course, you don't need to create it. So now in this file, what we need to do is that we need to create our first URL. So first of all, let me zoom in here so that you can here see what's going on. So what I'm going to type here is that I'm going to type the following. First of all, I'm going to type from Django, from Django.URLs, URLs, import, import path. We need to import the path uh class from from this uh, the the path function from this django.urls and then what we need to do is that we need to import the views as well we need to import the views so we need to say from dot and then import views so what does this mean from here from dot dot means from this directory from the current directory which is this directory, the same directory, import, import, and then views the file that's called views. What is this file? This file is this file, this views. So I'm importing, I'm telling Django, hey Django, I want you to import the views, this, view, this views file here in this URLs because I want to use it. So these, these couple of lines are just uh, important in case, because we want to use the path and we want to use the views. Now it's time to create the URL. So to create the URL, we need to create a we need first to create a, a variable called URL patterns. URL patterns. And this URL patterns is gonna be a list. So it's gonna be here a list. And then we need to create the URL, the first URL. So to create a URL, we need to say path. And then this path function is gonna take three parameters. The first parameter is the URL itself. There's to go to in order to see a specific page, in order to check out a specific page. So I'm going to just keep it empty. Empty meaning that it's going to be the the main, kind of the main, there is nothing. Meaning that if the user goes to this main, it's going to display a specific code or a specific page. And then the second parameter is the view or the file that you want to uh, the, the the function that you want to to execute. So here I'm going to say views dot index. I'm going to create a function called index. Don't worry about this for now. Just don't worry about this for now. And then comma and then the, th the third parameter is going to be name and then the name of this URL. So the name can be anything. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it index. I'm going to name this index. Just give, uh, I'm just going to give this a name. The second step that we need to do is that we need to specify, we need to, uh, we need to tell our project that we have this URL because this, this URL is that py is inside this, inside, inside this, um, uh, inside this blog app. And then an app, as I told you earlier, an app is just a part of the project. So the project itself here, my project, you need to open my project, and then you need to open urls.py. And then inside that urls.py, we need to tell 
uh, we need to tell Django, hey, Jan hey Django, we have an app called blog and it has URLs. So here in this file, in this URLs that's inside the my project, I need to say here path. I need to say path, path, and then and then the name of the the name of the app. So the name of the app is blog blog forward slash, and then comma, comma, and then include include, and then we need to include we need to include the the uh, blog blog dot urls we need to include the urls file the urls of the blog and finally we need to import the blog here we need here to say we need to say here comma and then include include to include the function to include the include function and now we are good to go